this part. <laughs> Why don't you call this? Oh, I don't. You know what I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> and I know you weren't doing your hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see another, another 24 minutes. Yeah, man. Sweet. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, I feel better now though. It, uh huh? Oh. All day, four pound. Leggings on in it. Oh, it's up there. <laughs> hmm? I don't know. I think it's saying we got till midnight basically. Nice. Do you know what? It's not that cold. Not yet. Not yet, anyway. We only just left the car though. Yeah, but you know. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep positive and all. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all parked up now. Left the car in the distance. Hopefully it's still there when I get back. <laughs> just about to start the ascend to Penn E Pass. And then we're going to start because we've had to start half an hour away because we couldn't get a space on the car park. Uh, and hopefully we get to see a, an amazing sunrise, which fingers crossed is looking good. So we just reached the start of the pig track. Uh, we're just about to carry on. Dan, what are you doing? Having lunch. We haven't even started yet. It's my breakfast. Oh, I need yes. energy. <laughs> are you really having such ways? Having a quick munch, yeah. <laughs> We've just mm. got to the start. Oh. <laughs> I need energy. <laughs> Oats, banana, milk, nice. Mate, I can't believe it starts like right there and you're already scranning. Got to keep on top of it. I don't want to collapse. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you start because you've got all the energy now after you just ate. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, well, started the pig track. Um, first time for me. So Pete's directing us. We'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> To drive my peace of mind when I've been left without it. I can't let it go. I had a dream about us. We were in the same place at the same time. Can you perceive? One point ain't normal, Zin. That's with the little warm up that's killed me um <laughs> it's a video oh you wanker <laughs> got me again man so you can't see but behind up there is crib gock but we're just carrying on now on the pig ruse obviously because daniel's wrist probably won't unfortunately i can't do it probably won't hold out but yeah so although the pig's probably harder work than your legs that's more of a technical one but that's one for the day i think you can enjoy it more because you can see the drop but we're just waiting for that sunrise which is going to be epic wind's picking up slightly now the closer we get into the top oh, did you hear that's proper picking up so just an update breakfast boys I don't think Pete's had anything. <laughs> He's just been shitting all the time walking up here. Your alibi, my 
So we made it. <laughs> Legs done. Legs done. <laughs> mate, this ain't gonna hold, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. This is how you send 500 quid in the air and never get it back. <laughs> Can you send it up a little bit? We're gonna have lift off in a minute. So our main advice for someone who wants to do a ascend in the night to make the sunrise, my personally one would be maybe bring an extra jacket for the top because on the way up you're fine, you're getting a sweat on, you're building, you're working, but as soon as you get to the top and you have a chill and wait for the sunrise, oh, don't jump off rocks like that either. Bad for the knees, but definitely bring another jacket because up there it got Baltic at one point. It got nasty. I couldn't feel my hands, it was horrible. So, good pair of gloves as well, plenty of liquids, plenty of food, well, just enough. You don't have your bag too heavy like I have, it's, I'll definitely be downscaling next time, but what would you say, Greeny? Um, I'd probably say, if you need a break, take a break, because you're going to need it. That is important, especially when you're coming up the pig. If you try and blast the pig eight in one, you unless, you're, unless you're experienced and you do something like this all the time, it's going to finish you off, so... I mean, we, I don't exercise all the time, but I can do it. But a couple of breaks in between just to get your legs that repair makes it a bit easier. Whew. 
nice slow decline no rush weather's nice no work It's not. It's just a sweat dripping off my nose. don't describe the way I'm feeling after that jacket's come off. The fresh air is unreal. What are you saying, Pete? Must need it. <laughs> Honestly. Feel like a neat man. Near the end now. Have you the morning what? track. You know what's a massive, massive issue for us? The fact that we ain't been to sleep. I've, I've felt that. I've oh, noticed it. 100%. I've noticed that massively. No sleep. If you come in, get a good night's sleep. Don't get me wrong, we enjoyed it. Oh, but, massively, I'll do it again. But let's be fair, yeah, it's been realistic. Yeah. I mean, sleep, get some hydration on, have a good breakfast and you'll be sound. Yeah. But definitely do it, I recommend it, Pete recommends it. SWM. Uh, we're coming to the end of the morning chat now, end of the, um, the trip, the road trip, the ascend, the descend, everything. Pete's gonna put an absolute banging video together. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. And the end is in sight. Oh wait, no. Nothing. <laughs> we gotta walk back down there. <laughs>
we are now officially coming to the end of the trial that truck and we've only got a little walk up the road to the car so once I get to the car I'm pressing record and I'm gonna kiss the camera here we see <laughs> here we see young Peter Haddock walking to his car after being out for nearly six hours climbing a mountain the lack of water the lack of food he just wants to go home as he approaches his car he's getting more and more excitable He's dreaming of a pint in a pub. <laughs> We're getting closer to his habitat. I think he's lost his keys. If he's lost his keys, I will be fighting him in the middle of the road. So let's pray he's got his keys. I say we're about 50 yards. It's looking good. He's still searching for his keys. This is quite worrying. His bag's coming off. This is a beautiful sight. Young Peter Haddock has made it home to his car. And here we go. What a beautiful specimen this one is. We made it. The car, I said I was gonna. You beauty!